Hey YouTube, Aaron with Vacant Land Guys here. Got another property in uh, Arizona. Um, it's one of our featured ones. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get this one up for a while. Um, but I think we got it figured out now. Um, it is 20.59 acres. It's uh, covered in junipers and it's really close to Snowflake, Arizona. Uh, we're asking 11900 or we'll do terms on this one. Uh, 4,000 down and 300 a month for 45 months. So you're going to end up paying a little bit more if you're doing the terms deal uh, versus the all cash deal. Uh, so yeah, um, choose an option. You can do a one time payment, buy now, and fill in all your information. We do a terms payment. We'll just click through and just kind of show you what's going on. And then you just 300 a month, 45 months, $4,000 down. And proceed to checkout. And this will take you to a screen where you fill in all your information. Our information here, and uh, get y'all set up. So yeah, uh, let's go back here to where we just were. Oops, sorry. So yeah, this one you can do a search for this property too. You can do 20.59 acres. You can type it in the search bar. Search will come up. This will be the first one. Or you can, you know, you could search Snowflake or any of these keywords, you can, it'll pull it up for you. Or you could just do a, a search for Arizona properties. Click Arizona, and it'll start going. Uh, just, I'm just doing this real quick because a couple of people were having trouble finding stuff, so I'm just kind of running you through. It's actually this second property right here. I don't know why it's not that first one, but let's we'll click on this one here. And, just running through it. So anyway, uh, that's what we're asking. Those are the terms. Um, here's some images. Uh, these are the area. This is actual parcel lines. Comes up here. Cuts this way. And uh, so see, you got a road running along here. I believe that's Blue Jay Lane. I'm not sure though. Um, we'll, we'll get on Google and check that. Uh, and I believe you. The easiest way to get here is from the east side. Um, Probably want like a high clearance vehicle. I don't know necessarily four wheel drive, um, but yeah, maybe you want to do four wheel drive. Come in here. Looks like there's some little roads running up in here. Maybe a little road running right in here. You know, looks like this is an old creek bed up here. Running through that little corner. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the lot lines. Here's here's pictures of the area. What you're gonna be looking at. Lots of junipers all over this one. Um, Little mountains around you, little bluffs and things like that. Um, there's gonna be some sagebrush scattered around. Um, give you an idea. Here's uh, it's 50 minutes to uh, Sholo, uh, coming up this way. So Sholo is just gonna be to your south. 50 minutes. Um, kind of gives you directions there. Google um, GPS coordinates gonna be the easiest way to find this. Um, yeah. Just follow Snowflake Boulevard, Snowflake Heights. Take just some to Blue Jay Lane. So that must be Blue Jay Lane right there, I believe. Or maybe this part is. Not sure. 48 minutes to Snowflake. So you're pretty close to Snowflake. And then there's Taylor right here. Uh, see, I think I did Phoenix too. Phoenix, Phoenix is uh, 3 hours and 38 minutes. The shortest route. There's a couple ways you can go. Or it looks like you can fly from uh, Phoenix to uh, Shogo. 45 minutes 198 so you can fly there too so if you would just want to get out of the city for a weekend or whatever it's 45 minutes you can be there or three and a half hours if you're driving uh, yeah uh, what else uh, show you some lot lines so yeah so here's a uh, plat map so your easements are here shows all your easements in place roads um, this is your your lot right here. Um, just want to kind of show you a few things. Um, I'll let you read through this stuff. Um, it's just more details, kind of stuff I already went over. Um, parcel number. Um, there's our asking price, our terms. Zero dock fees. So there's no dock fees on this one. Those guys just are charging like $199 to $600 for a dock fee. Um, I've seen them as high as $800. Um, and there's no closing costs either. I mean, that's I should put that in here. Um, closing, that well, I guess it is a closing. Closing costs, stock fees, none of that. Um, we're just trying to 
make it easy and simple and you know cut out all the all the stupid little fees that really don't take that much time and uh, aren't really that necessary in my opinion. But you know, people got it, it. It is real costs that people put into doing closing costs and doc fees and getting all the prep work and everything. You know, uh, it does take time, so it is it is worth money. Um, time is money. Um, taxes are one fifty three a year. Um, 20.59 acres. Um, these taxes might be a little lower um, since I just split this one. So, um, I mean, it's still 20.59 acres, but I think the taxes are going to come in even lower now. I um, have to call the, call the county and verify um, with them. Here's your legal description a uh, little bit about us, you know, uh, showing up fires, this, all this stuff. Google Earth map, you can click on this, uh, view a larger map. It'll take you out. This is one of the corner coordinates. Um, wow, it's not popping up here, but it's, I think it's like right here. It's a corner. It kind of goes over this way and down. But you can kind of fly it around. It's uh, pretty easy to, pretty easy to do. But uh, we're going to back out of this. Um, and we're going to go over to, uh, I'll show you how you can do this. So we've got GPS coordinates. I'm just going to buy, grab this first set of coordinates here. Copy that. We'll go down to my Google Earth. You can download this. This is free. Paste that. Search. It's uh, gonna that up. So yeah, this is just one corner coordinate there. And I drop pins on these other ones here. Um, on these corner coordinates, and it's not like a perfect square. It's like kind of a perfect square up to this point, and then just another point added on here. So. Um, Maybe that's a 0.59 on there. I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, you can kind of see the road coming in here. It goes along here. Um, talking to a guy that has a parcels over here. He's saying that, like, I guess this northern part has a gate somewhere along here. So it's it's going to be hard getting into the north or something. Maybe this road. I'm not sure. He was saying, um, yeah, there's a guy that has a gate along here somewhere. Um, so you want to come in from the east side. Or maybe from the west, but he said the east side is probably the easiest way to get in here. So you're going to want to come in from the east um, through this way. So this is what Blue Jay, Blue Jay Lane, I believe this runs all along, right along the property boundaries here, along the west and uh, southern side of the properties. Um, so yeah, and there's here. Let's just take a look. Here's somebody doing something out here. Give you an idea of what's going on. Um, what you can do. Uh, looks like they got solar right there. Looks like a water catchment. Maybe a water catchment maybe there. Um, yeah, it doesn't look, the aerial views always look terrible, but you're not going to see any of this stuff. Because um, there's junipers, the junipers are so thick down here. But you can see the terrain, it's kind of hilly. Kind of tucked down in there. Um, let's jump over here to kind of give you an idea of the terrain. Sorry guys. All right, so I'm just kind of go down here and just, just gonna kind of hang you, hang you down. Jeez. So it's mostly flat, slightly rolling. Uh, oh, Google keeps freezing on me. Sorry guys. But you got like some plateaus over here. Yes. I don't know. You're probably gonna be able to see all these. These junipers aren't very tall. So you're probably going to get some mountain views, some plateaus here. Looks like you got like a little ravine or something. Kind of, I don't want to say it's a ravine, but it's like little depressions and stuff. Looks like maybe some more mountains over here. A little hill over here. Yeah, so it's got like a little, like a little ridge running along the property here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's in the that's a creek bed. Um, it's gonna be a seasonal creek. It's not gonna be that's not year round for sure. Yeah, a little seasonal creek running through here. Back up, see where I kind of lost my Yeah, so this that's that part that runs through the the uh, western tip of the property here, the little point here. So we're looking. This is north. That's just looking north. So you get like a little seasonal creek that runs through here when it rains. Give you an idea of the topography. I'll fly around. Man. It keeps 
freezing up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> having trouble. So, this is looking east. Looking south. That's the property here. It's your corners. Jeez. Looking looking west. Okay, looking west. So yeah, you kind of see it's kind of higher higher up on this point, and then kind of slopes down a little bit. Got some rolling hills, and then a little creek that's running through here. It's a seasonal creek. Um, let's back out of this. Uh, let's go over to uh, so I just typed in White Mountains. Arizona, because it's kind of in the area. This is like all kind of the White Mountains area. Just give you an idea of what's going on. There's kayaks, there's canoes. Um, so those are canoes, not kayaks. Um, sure, you can take a kayak out though. Lakes. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Wait, mountains. Wandering. Rim country. Be cool. Anyway. Um, Snow up in, in the upper elevations. Um, I guess summer here, summers here are not hot. They're like 70s from what everybody's saying. Um, your elevation is around 6,000 feet, so you're not going to have like Phoenix temperatures where you're just getting burned. Um, downtown Shilo looks like they're getting snow there. Uh, this looks like upper elevation stuff here. Um, let's see if we can see what that is. White Mountains. Yeah. Fresh snow, so skiing. Uh, there's some fall colors. Look like, kind of like aspen. I can't tell though. Maybe those are. Those look like aspen. So, but yeah, you could have junipers on this property. Maybe some, maybe some pinyon pine. I'm not sure. Got some lakes, some dogs, guys hanging out. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of. I also typed in this. Just typed in White Mountains, Arizona. Just give you an idea what's what's around. We have even a we even have a calendar. You can check out what's going on around here. Um, yeah, Tiny Todd's time. Swap meet nature hike. Modified sporting acoustic night. All kinds of stuff. A lot of mountain bikers, a lot of uh, trail hikers, uh, people are camping, and campfires hanging out. So anyway, um, yeah, this is kind of the property in a nutshell. Feel free to go check it out. Um, if you want to check it out, just go ahead. Um, GPS coordinates are here. You know, just plug in a set here, plug in another set, plug it right into your phone. Um, it'll take you right to the property. You can walk the, walk the boundaries with each set of coordinates. And uh, actually walk your property line, or well, pretty close anyway. GPS is pretty fairly accurate. Um, yeah, check us out. This is Aaron's Vacant Land Guys at www.vacantlandguys.com. Um, give us a call nine seven one two two five seven zero two four, or uh, any of these contact information is down here at the bottom of our website, on all our pages. Um, you can find us, or you can just check out online, buy the property, make it easy on all of us. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye.